Have you ever been curious about the tab feature in Adobe InDesign? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Ashley Harrell for Embato Tuts Plus, and I'm going to teach you all about tabs. Before we begin, make sure you check out Embato Elements. Get unlimited downloads of design assets, fonts, and templates like the one used in this tutorial. Subscribe now with the link in the description. First, I will give you a quick overview of the tabs panel. To locate the tabs panel, click on type and go to tabs. Here you will see that we have four options. We have left justified, center justified, right justified, and align to decimal. From there, we have the X location field, the leader field, the align on field, and then we also have some additional options in this hamburger menu. You can clear all, delete tabs, repeat tabs, and reset indents. After that, we have the magnet icon where it automatically adjusts the width to your text frame. So if you click on a text frame and click the magnet icon, it will automatically adjust itself. But in this case, it didn't do it since it's already it was already adjusted to that point. But I clicked on this frame above and click the magnet icon and it snapped right back to the frame. Here I have some information about this here pug and I want to organize it a bit better because right now it just looks really jumbled up. So to do that, I'm going to select the left justify tab and then I'm going to place a tab so that it's about 0 0.75 inches, inches on this here toolbar. And I am going to do 1.5 inches for the second. From there, I will place my cursor in front of the word and press tab on my keyboard. And from there, I'm gonna drop down to my second line and do the same by pressing tab on my keyboard as well. The same can be said for paragraphs as well. So what I'm going to do is select my paragraph box here and hit my magnet icon. From there, I am going to place a tab that is about 0 0.25 inches and I'm going to place my cursor in front of the paragraph and clip and also click tab on my keyboard. Now I want to create a dotted tab. This is very similar to a table of contents. To do that, I'm gonna select my box here and I am going to place my tab where I would like my words to start. I'm gonna move it to about 1.5 inches. And then for the leader character, I'm going to place a period in from there, you can now press tab on your keyboard and now you should have dotted tabs. Next, I will show you how to use the align to decimal feature. I have some email addresses and I want to align them by the at symbol. To do that, I'm going to select align to decimal and then I'm going to place my tab where I would like to see the at symbol placed and then align on should automatically populate the at symbol or you may have to type it in. I'm going to place my cursor in front of the address and click tab on my keyboard. As you can see, it has lined up all of my email addresses by the at symbol. You can also delete tabs by simply dragging the tab off of the small little toolbar at the top. There's another way you can do this. Like I stated earlier, you can click the hamburger menu and click on clear all. And that is how you use the tabs feature in InDesign. If you like this video and you would like to see more, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Also, don't forget to click that little bell icon to be notified of any new and inspiring videos. Thank you for watching.